Stillwell, Oklahoma. Stillwell is a city and county seat of Adair County, Oklahoma, United States. The population was 3,949 at the 2010, an increase of 20.5% from 3,276 at the 2000 census. In 1949, the Oklahoma governor and legislature proclaimed Stillwell as the strawberry capital of the world. Stillwell also serves as a gateway to Lake Tenkiller and the former Adair State Park. The town was named after Arthur Stillwell, noted philanthropist and founder of the Kansas City Southern Railway. It was built because of the construction off the railroad, and was incorporated on January 2, 1897. As early as 1901, Stillwell and Westville vied for the role of county seat. When Adair County was formed in 1907, Westville was identified as the county seat, due partly to its location at the intersection of two major railroads, the Kansas City Southern Railway and the St. Louis San Francisco Railway. After three intensely contested elections, however, Oklahoma Governor Charles Haskell proclaimed Stillwell as the county seat on May 6, 1910. During the Great Depression and World War II, strawberries became a major crop in Adair County. In 1948, the first Stillwell Strawberry Festival was organized. In 1949, the state governor and legislature proclaimed Stillwell as strawberry capital of the world. The 2002 festival saw some 40,000 people in attendance. The former Adair State Park in Stillwell has been taken over by Adair County, after the state of Oklahoma announced in 2011 that it would close the park permanently as part of a budget cutting move. Stillwell is located at 35.815234. Minus 94.631359. It is west of the Arkansas state line and east of Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Stillwell is located at the intersection OFU.S. Highway 59 and State Highway 51. Salisaw and Little Lee Creeks are nearby. According to the United States Census Bureau, the town has a total area of, of which is land and, 0.63%, is water. As of the census of 2000, there were 3,276 people, 1,269 households, and 809 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,033.7 people per square mile, 399.0 per square kilometer. There were 1,434 housing units at an average density of 452.5 per square mile, 174.7 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 41.88% white, 0.49% African American, 48.41% Native American, 0.21% Asian, 0.03% Pacific Islander, 3.45% from other races, and 5.53% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 6.99% of the population. At 48.57% Cherokee. Stillwell is the most Cherokee community in the United States. There were 1,269 households out of which 35.5% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 42.7% were married couples living together, 17.6% had a female householder with no husband present, and 36.2% were non-families. 33.1% of all households were made up of individuals and 15.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.49 and the average family size was 3.21. In the city, the population was spread out with 30.0% under the age of 18, 10.8% from 18 to 24, 26.9% from 25 to 44. 17.5% from 45 to 64, and 14.9% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 32 years. For every 100 females, there were 86.1 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 79.6 males. The median income for a household in the city was $18,555, and the median income for a family was $24,673. Males had a median income of $20,500 versus $17,351 for females. The per capita income for the city was $10,034. About 28.3% of families and 32.0% of the population were below the poverty line including 42.6% of those under age 18 and 20.4% of those age 65 or over. Agriculture has been the mainstay of the local economy for a century. 
Strawberry farming was particularly successful. At one time, there were about 2,000 acres devoted to strawberries. Ranching became important around 1960. Local industry was largely an outgrowth of agriculture. Employers were such companies as Tyson Foods, Stillwell Canning Company, and its successor, Mrs. Smith's Bakery slash Stillwell Food, Cherokee Nation Industries, and Facet Industries. Pole barn building is also a major part of Stillwell's economy. In 2005, Walmart built its first supercenter in the town and aids in providing a large percentage of individuals with sustainable work and wages. On June 5, 2015, 24-7 Wall Street listed Stillwell as the town having the poorest economy in Oklahoma. It noted that 32.7% of the residents had incomes below the U.S. poverty line, compared to the national rate of 11.3% and the state rate of 16.5%. The median income for residents was $24,452 or 54% of the median income in the state of $45,339. Stillwell Public Schools provides education for children from kindergarten through 12th grade. There is one elementary school, one middle school and one high school. Technical or vocational studies beyond high school level are offered by the Indian Capital Technology Center campus in Stillwell. Stillwell has a mayor council form of government, with five members on the city council. City departments reporting to the mayor include the police department, volunteer fire department, sewer and garbage service, natural gas and electric service. Health services include the Cherokee Nation Wilma Mankiller Health Clinic, supported by the Cherokee Nation, Memorial Hospital, several home health care agencies, the Oklahoma Department of Public Health, and the Stillwell Nursing Home. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.